I see they're still knocking up villas over there. Yep. Ah, that's one of the new ones, remember. Yeah. So we're here down at Lasagna today. We are in Lasagna again. Let's get the beach in the background. I've everyone, not been here for uh, ages. I feel like I've not been here for ages. No, look at the sky. It's terrible today. It's a really grey day today. But we had fog this morning. Yeah, we did. It's still warm though. We're down here especially to go to a for new lunch. Irish bar. And I'm going to try the beef and Guinness. Pie. Steak and Guinness pie. Stai, steak and Guinness steak pie. Steak and Guinness pie. I have no idea what I'm going to have. The uh, menu looks quite good. It's though. been highly recommended this place and mm -hmm. seemingly it is mobbed on a Sunday for Sunday for dinner. For the Sunday dinners. If you like your Sunday dinners. Mm -hmm. We've been told mm -hmm. that this place is the new best placed Irish bar in Lasagna. Let's go and find out. And find out if what people are saying is it true that it is the best Irish bar and Irish food in Lasagna. Big statement to make because you've got Paddy's Point, you've also got Gogarty's, Gogarty's and you've also got Spud Murphy's. Mm. Massive Irish bars down here. Can this cut Spud the Murphy's mustard? is more of a restaurant than a bar yeah. really, isn't it? This is true. So anyway, we're going to take a walk up. It is just up from the Lasagna Beach, walking distance. Yes, it's just, just a up few minutes walk. Past La Marada, and which is another lovely restaurant, Mikai Cafe, which you all know where that is. We've been there. We've been there. We used to go there sometimes when we lived down at Playa Flamenca, didn't we? Yeah, we did. When it was smaller than what it was today. <laughs> yeah, half the size. Of, oh, aye, less, no, less than half the size. Anyway, let's go. The only thing about down this area in August is it is an absolute nightmare to it get is. parked. Nose to tail and you're lucky to get parking space. Yep. That's what I but, like about this time of year. Yes. Weather's still pleasant but you can get parked. And also you can actually come under the bridge on the N332. That's right. To get to Arthur's mm -hmm. Bar. So if even if you're at the Paddy's Point area you just cro cross over the road, walk down Go under the, the bridge and uh, come down that way. Which a lot of you might do if you're walking down to the beach anyway. I don't know what the story is with that house. It's been completely wrecked. Completely wrecked. Just as we're walking up, can you see it? The house looks as if it's been trashed. Wow. Maybe somebody's bought it and they were going to do it up, or I don't know. Definitely been trashed. Ripped. Smashed the bits. It does have a pool. And a shower. But the house itself, yeah, it's been smashed to bits. Somebody's not been happy about something. What a shame. Fantastic property as well. So who knows what happened to that property? Tell us in the comments. So as we're walking up, there's tapas. Insula di Arusa. Insula di three euros. Remember when that place was like, had about two tables outside? Yeah. During lockdown and things. Was it even? Mika Cafe or Mikai Cafe or however you pronounce Makai. it. They've got, they've extended to the next door part. And they also have their clothing store. Yeah, which is giving them an even bigger terrace. I'm sure it's like ethical clothing. So as you walk up, Harry's Bar is just over there. But so it's just a few minutes from the beach. You all know, if you know the area, you know that you can come oh, down. That's the church that you see from the N332 yeah. road. There is the church that you see from the yeah. N332. And there is the bridge that you can walk down under, under. if you're walking down from Lasagna. So we're going to head over here and grab some food.
Pastors Bar. Good on Lasagna. Lasagna. Down at Lasagna Beach. You'll know this little street. Just up from Mackay Cafe. Mackay Cafe. As you walk up from Lasagna Beach. Yeah. They've got their new clothes shop as well, which they opened up last yeah. year or the year before. And their terrace is much bigger now. So it's just up from there, up past the Indian, right yeah. up to the top. It's good to see the businesses the booming down here. Because yeah. you remember Mackay Cafe when it first opened. It was a small cafe. It was they, half the size. Yeah, it was half the size. And yeah. they opened it because they wanted to get an income okay. from their surf school yeah. during the winter. That's right. If you remember that, that was, I do remember that was a that. long time ago now. It feels like forever. It was yeah. Four five, years? Five years ago. Five. But that happened. Well, we moved here four yeah. years ago. Sorry, yeah. yeah. We moved here four years ago. What did you have for lunch, Carl? I had the fisherman's pie. Yeah. Wow. I don't know what I expected. I've had fisherman's pies before. Um, I love it. Seafood. This was huge. Can you see it? Yep. It was thick and it was full of really tasty fish. It was absolutely lovely. But the nice thing was it's a really thin, thin pastry, yeah. which I like. Sometimes you can get pies and you had the steak and Guinness pie. Steak and Guinness pie was That looked fantastic and it tasted delicious as well. Yep. And your gravy was just beautiful. Yep. But sometimes pies, they can have like a really thick crust. I don't like that. Yeah. This was... Oh. I liked it. And the chips, it's all about the size of the chips. They're huge. I've not been able to finish mine, as you can see. I wanted to polish off the pie, which meant the chips got sacrificed. And I had the mushy peas. And you had the mushy peas. Yeah. It was good. I don't normally like mushy peas. I'm a bit yeah. fussy about mushy peas. These are homemade here. Well, as you can see, I enjoyed them too. Yeah. I've got to say, the steak in Guinness pie was absolutely amazing. Was I don't know what I was expecting. I mean, sometimes I think I was expecting just like a wee... Well, when we think of pies, pie. we tend to think of a small, round, yeah. individual. Yeah, but this was like yeah. a big pie. It was this like was a, a proper big... Chunk, chunk of and a, it was a big pie. cooked Perfect. amazingly. That was, oh, it was really gorgeous. Good. I still can't get over your gravy. Yeah, I would, I would actually say, I mean, the chips at... Spud Murphy's. Spud Murphy's are, are the best because they're cooked in. They're I don't know still. what they do to their it's chips, like, but you've always liked yeah, the chips. It's like there, chip shop they? chips, but this place. Those this, chips were this fantastic. Place will give Paddy's I think these point. are hand cut chips, so yeah. Yeah, this place will give Paddy's point, it'll give Spud Murphy's a run for the money in this area. The food's That's, good. That is how good this, this is. Um, yeah. I, I would. That was a delicious meal, and there was a lot of it and nice little fresh bits of bread too. Would you recommend it? I highly recommend it. I would come back here. What would you give it out of 10? Um, I would, oh my God, don't put me on the spot like that, Barry. I'd give it a 11. <laughs> For that fish pie, it was definitely 10 out of 10. Yeah. That, that was delicious. And I'm not a big pie fan, yeah. to be honest. I don't usually eat things like that. Yeah. But I thought, I love seafood, give it a go. Yeah. Glad I did, it was fantastic. Fantastic. Mm.